you're gonna live for a really long time. True. Mr. Game and Watch. DDD Game and Watch, such a strange team. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, has anybody ever seen that team before? Yeah, I wonder if they've ever teamed together before. I think they might have teamed at uh, Smash and Splash. Maybe. I can't remember. They didn't? Oh, Ripple teamed with Jinbug. Never mind. I heard that O'Reilly and Marshall were going to team, but then uh, Marshall ended up deciding to team with Ripple instead. I think so it might have had something to do with, like, he wasn't sure O'Reilly was going to come or something, One, but baby. regardless, okay, this looks like a butt move. Yeah, it's definitely a, just a butt check. Look at O'Reilly's silky smooth pivots. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful! <laughs> oh my god, The dude. precision! Wow. 12? Jesus. <laughs> We've just been told his record is 12 pivot jabs, the madman. That's hilarious. So, I think that GDD as a teammate for Game & Watch, man, can't you just imagine, like, the combo potential from, like, inhale into, like, forward air, like, nair, like, anything, right? Yeah. I mean, the problem is getting the inhale to begin with. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, and I guess against these fast characters, Ripple's not going to maybe have enough time to do that. I mean, we'll see. It depends. If he's got Game & Watch choking the other guy's face out, throwing out those bacon so you can't escape into the air, and throwing out these ground hitboxes so that they can't escape, you know, horizontally, then you have nowhere to go but into DDD. That's true. Especially if you're already cornered on the ledge. Is this, is this real? No, I was just throwing each other around. They're laughing about it. That knee was gonna be sick! One, go! No contest. They're gonna start. Stadium is the pick. One, go. F tilt to start things off. Like you're trying to approach against me, DDD. You can't outrange me, bro. Now I noticed this when I saw these guys play earlier. Uh, Ripple lives forever, obviously. Yep. DDD is absurdly heavy and has like 14 jumps and. With good DI, he's going to be at 200% like every stock. Right. So a lot of the times, I would think that instead of just trying to kill DDD, it might be smart to just focus down Marshall because he's lighter and dies faster and have Marshall burn the stock. I made, I made a similar comment in an earlier set. I, I would definitely agree with you. Like, DDD may be like at 98%, but like, who cares if you can like take out the game and watch, you know, the, the, the enormous combo threat. Right. Well, see, look, DDD at 100%, and he's only half dead. Right, because what's, DD, what's DDD going to do in a, in a 1v2 versus Fox and Falcon, man? They're going to run all over him. Right, and then they'll get him to that percent where he can actually die. Exactly. And it seems that they've, they're kind of employing the strat. Yeah. They're just pushing DDD out of the picture whenever he shows up. and. Uh, yeah. Just focusing Attack on 2 one Yeah, absolutely. I think that's, I think that's the strategy you got to have. Ooh, they've got them both at an edge guard scenario. He needs that waddle D. <laughs> yeah, He'll he spend some snail moves on that. Yeah. Just send a message. No mercy for the minions, man. You enter this you enter the arena, you're gonna get you're gonna get messed up. Dude, that down there was wild. Oh, uh, couldn't quite save him there. Big team combos. Call up by Kells on the on Ripple. Yeah, he had to stop the team combo and why not do it by just killing him? Right. <laughs> All right, so despite all that, blue team's actually in the lead here. Yeah, they're still uh, putting in that work. Man, approaching back air with uh, Game & Watch as a multi-hit, so deadly. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that edge guard. <laughs> he he still lives. Like, he went in for that nair edge guard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Ooh, that was a sick floor attack. Oh my good god. Living low. Everything on the right side of the stage has been wild. Yep. <laughs> he throws his demon at him. Oh, I respect the attempt. Yeah, right? Wow, I thought that was... That would have been so amazing. Up tilt kill on game on uh, Falcon. I mean, it did, just from game one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this was looking super even until, like, the last 30 seconds or so. And then Blue Team has started to get the momentum. And just kind of running over. Yeah, you know, I, mean, I feel like neutral hasn't even been that, like, one-sided, right? But, like, Blue Team's just definitely taking their punishes a lot further. Yeah. Yeah. Great uh, forward smash to continue the edge guard. That's it. Goodbye, Lily. Really. I mean, it's pretty easy to take a punish pretty far on, you know, Fox and Falcon. True enough. Oh, oh that read, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he looked into Kelsey's soul and he's like, you're going to the left now. Yep. You don't have a choice. Either go to the left or go to DDD. Sheik. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Makes sense. He's switching just to uh, hopefully abuse his uh, being less fragile yeah. than Fox. Reminder, this is character for his counterpicking today. Oh yeah, it is. All right, Smashville. Three, two, Fair one, choice. Go. Yeah, just like sticking to the neutrals, I respect it. DD and Ripple especially is just, just so comfortable on the ledge. Yeah, especially with that moving platform to just come in and save him something. Right. Give him more room. Oh, oh that is, uh, you don't want to go that way. Right. Ooh, you don't want to beat your teammate either. No. They're starting this match with three stocks each. Yeah, you don't want to put yourself in a deficit earlier. And they did. Especially not after a five stock, right? Man. Falcon's still getting bodied. Oh, yeah. Damon Watch is throwing him around. I mean, it's not even like it's a giant combo string or anything. It's right. just, he keeps falling back into it. Ooh, can't edge guard Damon Watch. He's got uh, a jump even when you saw him use it already. Right. He's going to pull a secret one out of his back pocket. <laughs> I, I like to think that his extra jump comes from the second dimension where he originates. I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> oh, he, kills oh, he didn't have one there, though. No. Maybe that was the uh, devil coming to collect his uh, his debt for the second secret <laughs> jump. <laughs> Ooh, the waddle do assist. Did you see that? Yeah. This is a 3v2. <laughs> yeah, right? GDD brings the whole army when he comes to play, man. Yeah. It doesn't really seem fair. Ooh, good read. He called that recovery. Yeah, oh man, he's like... Oh, That's it, dude. So gross. Oh, the taunt. Less than two minutes in, and both red team members down to their last stock. Marshall was taunting. I mean... Literally, like, red team's just kind of falling into blue team right now. Yeah, it's not looking good. Ooh, the stage spike. Jesus. Just having their way with him. Come on, do something wild. Ooh, that is exactly what I wanted. That is something wild. I'm glad he did it. Excuse me? What? All right. Well, this is their uh, secret counter pick, I suppose. One, go! I've never seen a release speech before. I had no idea. We'll see what they got, man. I know Kel's Falco's in the sludge. Yeah, he, he's been using that today somewhat. Yeah, I mean, Fox, Falco, Sheik, that's probably pretty good coverage for PM. Right. But it, it doesn't really matter, like, unless you really know the matchup, you know? I mean, it seems to be working all right for them so far. It's yeah. pretty even. I mean that's that's the advantage, right? Like, you know, your opponents have adapted to play against, like, playing against certain characters, and now you're coming at them with a totally new look. Ooh, 
he wops that Waddle D, but Riffle just sends it back down. He's abusing his own subject. Riffle is a cruel king. He's a dictator, he's not a king. I didn't vote for you. I didn't vote for a penguin. I mean, it's a monarchy. Do you really even vote? Yeah, I guess not. I'm just... I'm reminded of that scene from Monty Python. Help, help, I'm being oppressed. <laughs> Red team is definitely being oppressed right now. They are definitely being oppressed. I mean, they're down <laughs> two games in the three out of five here. Like, if that's not oppression, I don't know what is. All I have to say is that women giving swords at Mysterious Lakes is no basis for a system of government. I guess it depends on, uh, <laughs> it depends on where you live. <laughs> Ooh, the double jab shield pressure? He's I don't dead, think that's dead. real, but it works. There's no tech. When DDD falls on you with like a falling near, I just think it's the funniest thing. It's just like Banzai, man. Yeah, the belly flop. I like that name better. Like in real life, he's not gonna like the the hitbox on on uh, DDD's neutral. Would just be, he would just like squish you and just send you straight down. That's the real hitbox. Not I think he's not real. DDD would be a kind of horrifying. Kind of horrifying. Like a giant mascot. You see in his eyes, they're lifeless. I know. Yeah, he has no soul. When he's applauding, like on the on the results screen, it's so scary. <laughs> That's just scary too, man. His eyes are just dead. This Waddle Dude was trying to put in some work on Red Team. Look at him. Oh, he's gone. He left. His mission was done. Yeah. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. My purpose has been fulfilled. All right. So actually, like, it's it's still easy. even. <laughs> I don't know. Even if they do win here, though, they still have to win two more games. Right. And it's so close. I don't know if uh, I don't know if they could do it. I know. Especially not if you're gonna let Marshall like one v two like that. Right. Hundred sixty-five percent finally dies. Oh, he oh, lives. Oh my God! The, the, uh, the Waddle Waddle D. D. Same thing. It's still, now it's a 3v3. One of those Waddle Dees is a trade. Right. Defect. Oh wow. my god. He just armored through yeah, the laser. Yeah, just armored through it. He just said, I bet you don't know about this mechanic. And right. just dove into him. Yeah. Hit him with the hammer. Clean through. Yeah. Actually, what kind of Game & Watch main are you if you don't hit your teammate with the hammer when you want? That's true. Maybe not a true Game & Watch main.